I fucking hate this game. So here is Skyrim Anniversary Edition with the unofficial patch on it that is supposed to fix, quote, hundreds of game-breaking bugs. Here's a bug that I've never encountered before, but is extremely fucking easy to trigger and can not only game break a major component of the fucking Soulstime Dragonborn expansion, but it can, depending on how you set up your save files, permanently fucking trap you in the Raven Rock dungeon, unable to ever fucking leave. And it has to do with this fucking worthless piece of shit, gimmicky cock sucking fucking sword right here called the Blood Skull Blade. Now what the Blood Skull Blade does is it releases an energy blast with power attacks that deals 30 damage, which if you play on any difficulty but normal or beginner is fucking worthless. So as cool as the sword looks, you'll never use it. But it has one purpose to open one fucking door, this door right here, and it does it by you swing the sword and it releases the energy wave. So let's try it out. Huh, where the fuck is the energy wave? Where the fuck is it, gamers? Where the fuck is this cocksucking, motherfucking, dick licking, fucking, clit flipping, fucking piece of shit, fucking wow. energy wave? I'll give you a hint. It's never, ever gonna come out. Because the sword is bugged. The fucking sword is bugged. And this bug, if it occurs, is permanent. And there is no fucking patch of the game besides one of the latest patches of the unofficial Elder Rim Scrolls patch for fucking Skyrim on PC that fixes this. On console, this glitch is permanent and there is no way to fix it. And you know what causes this cocksucking, dick licking, fucking scum, fucking goddamn bitch, motherfuck, cunt, faggot, nigger, fucking goddamn glitch? Do you know what causes it? If you enter Soulstein and then leave and don't come back and do the Raven Rock mine quest in 30 days of game time, this dungeon will reset. And if the dungeon will reset, it will drop a new version of that fucking sword on the floor. And the new fucking version of the sword that it drops on the floor, which by the way, as you can see, can very easily clip through the environment and oh look, guess what? The sword is now gone. <laughs> it fell through the floor anyways. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. But uh, yeah, if this dungeon resets, that sword will never emit the lasers. And if the sword doesn't emit the lasers, you can't open this. Now, console commands, which are of course only available on fucking PC, can open this door. Console commands can no clip me through this fucking door and the quest is completable. But guess what? On console, this door will never open this quest will never complete. I will never be a citizen of Soulstein or Ravenrock, I mean, and I will never get the house, the kick-ass fucking house in the expansion. I will never, ever get it. Ever. Ever. This shit is inexcusable. That this is a remastered, patched, Anniversary Edition, Game of the Year Edition, mod patched fucking version of this fucking game. And there is still game breaking, save file destroying fucking mods in it. Or excuse me, bugs in it. It's unfucking believable how absolutely what an overrated piece of fucking cock sucking bitch, fucking cunt dog shit, fucking. Four out of ten games Skyrim is. It's unfucking believable how many bugs are in it and how many of them are unfixable in the console version of this game. I haven't even got into how crash prone, especially after the Creation Club and the the console shitty 
console mod suite that it comes on PS4, how often this game fucking crashes. Now, the Anniversary Edition and one of the uh, the mod bug fixes that I've downloaded has improved the crash rate to once every several hours. The last time I had this game installed, which was in 2019 or 2020, this game crashed every five minutes. It was so unplayable that I uninstalled it. I've only recently started playing it again. I'm on this save file and I go and, oh hey, let me do this Solstheim shit. And I'd showed up to Solstheim to like fucking trade with them and get some secret alchemical ingredients and shit. And then left and gone and done main quest shit back on fucking um, Skyrim for well over 30 ga uh, days of game time. I finally come back to finally do the Raven Rock quest and I find out it can never be done. It can never fucking be done ever, ever again on this save file. It's permanently broken and guess what? They've lovingly designed a room here that I don't even think you can fucking leave without console commands. I mean, maybe it's possible the acrobatics jump back up that hill. I'm not 100% on that. Um, looking at it from here, no. No, and if I had uh, no auto saves and I'd only saved in this room, this save file would be bricked. It would be fucking bricked. Bricked. Fucking bricked. Don't get too far ahead. I'm so fucking angry. Shut the Who's fuck up. Rota! Fucking dumbass. This fucking game. It is unbelievable what a piece of shit Skyrim is. If you think, like, Starfield or whatever the fuck the new Bethesda project won't be a steaming pile of Fallout 76 exceeding piece of fucking dog shit broken mess, you're insane. If you think The Elder Scrolls 6, when it comes out in 2039, won't be a fucking piece of fucking unplayable dog shit, you're insane. ZeniMax Studios fucking sucks dick. Okay? Fuck that. Fuck this game. I don't even want to hear about ESO. I'm not interested. I don't play MMOs. Fuck you. I want my single player fucking game to fucking work. And I'm like, oh, we could pretty up the graphics, but we're still gonna use this fucking piece of shit. What is this, uh, Euphoria engine or some fucking bullshit? I don't know what the fuck this is. The engine that this game runs on is the same engine they used for fucking Morrowind. And you wonder why it doesn't fucking work. Kill yourself. If you work for Bethesda or Zenimax, kill yourself.